Hi, my name's Matt. Um, this is the uh, piston video, so I just wanted to go on a bit about um, some of the uh, design uh, features of pistons. And these are two-stroke pistons, so we'll uh, do a video on four-stroke pistons at a later date. But uh, this is a 70cc aluminium uh, windowed um, piston that I showed you on my uh, window piston videos uh, video. And uh, I just want to go over a few of the things. Um, some of the design aspects on the rest of the pistons. So basically you have your piston crown, which is the top bit, you have your, your piston body in a sense, but you have your piston skirts, you have your gudgeon pin bosses, um, which are basically just uh, larger surface areas for your gudgeon pin to go into. There are gudgeon piston clips or circlip grooves inside to hold the circlips to stop your gudgeon pin flying out and hitting the side of your uh, cylinder wall, and especially with two strokes you don't want that to happen because you have um, ports and the gudgeon pin might catch in there and absolutely wreck your engine to pieces. These are forged aluminium pistons, you can tell that because you can see where the press went inside and it left some data, some numbers. This is Vertex and it says 1049, god knows what any of that means. Um, Vertex is probably the company that made it. So the other things you have is you have two types of pistons, you can have um, Oh, you can have three types of pistons for two strokes. You can have dish pistons, you can have uh, flat pistons, or you can have dome pistons. This is an ever so slightly domed um, piston roof or piston crown. You have the lands, which are the bits between the rings, the high sections between the rings. You have your piston ring grooves, and with two stroke pistons, you have your piston pin that you can just see there that stops the rings rotating. The piston pins are at certain degree angles so that they miss the transfer ports and the exhaust ports um, so that the end of the rings where they actually meet don't um, come into contact with them openings. Um, your piston ring grooves are wider than the piston rings, this is a design on purpose, this has got nothing to do so you can get them in, this is all to do with the uh, ring expansion and pressure and whatnot. Um, really that's pretty much it, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, they have arrows like this one which usually indicates the exhaust and in this case it does but nearly all the time it um, indicates which way the exhaust port should be facing so with this cylinder you have the exhaust port there um, so we have the exhaust port to the bottom so the piston will go in this way with that arrow pointing towards the exhaust port it's pretty easy to tell this one because it's windowed and you have the uh, window missing like I explained in the window video um, but nine times out of ten if not every single time that arrow is pointing towards the exhaust port um, other design aspects are the actual shape of the uh, piston crown, so you have domed, you have flat, and you sometimes have dished. Dished is more towards diesels, um, but there are one or two that I've seen, which are two strokes which have dish, dished, um, dished uh, blah, 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 piston crowns, um, so you can have a reduced size in cylinder head, um, stuff like that. So, um, you can have flat other than dish you can have flat and you can have domed. Um, domed in a sense helps a bit more with um, uh, squish bands and all the rest of it where flat, flat is sometimes used a lot in uh, racing cylinders and racing pistons because uh, it basically is a more direct uh, surface area instead of having a dished one. Um, but apart from that there's uh, obviously the gudgeon pin still in this one so is the uh, roller bearing. That's be clearance inside and clearance at the side of the skirts for the angle of the con rod. That's quite important when designing pistons. Um, they even usually machine a little rim out of the inside to make sure it's got lots and lots of clearance. Um, there are two and um, two piston rings and single piston rings. Uh, single piston rings are usually for less resistance for uh, race cylinders. However, like I've explained before in one of the other videos. The pros and cons of having a single and a double is usually down to endurability um, and that's all down to heat transfer through the piston rings to the cylinder wall. Um, pistons are usually tapered, they are usually smaller diameter at the top than they are at the bottom. Uh, this is to do with thermal expansion, as the, the piston um, crown is at the top of the cylinder where the combustion takes place and the bottom of the skirt is the furthest in the piston away from that heat. Um, and because you have the rings that are touching the cylinder walls and because of the friction and so on and so forth, there's a lot more heat generated in the top than there is the bottom. So if they made 
uh, pistons parallel, what would happen is is that you'd get a heat seize every time the piston went to the top of um, the stroke because this would expand more than the bottom. Not only that, there's a lot less material at the bottom as well, a hell of a lot less. It's because there's less, this expands nowhere near as much as this does, and there can be quite a gradient difference between the two. Um, but pistons are tapered. Um, if you don't believe me, try and put your piston this way, bottom first, through the top of the cylinder. It's a lot harder than putting the top through the bottom. So, that's just a quick um, gloss over pistons and some of the design aspects. And uh, watch some other videos, check me out on Facebook, and uh, I'll see you in a bit.